Hey guys, it's Noakim Boy, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a pie chart in JavaFX and FXML. And uh, as you can see in your screen, uh, this is a pie chart a example uh, which compares milk production between four countries: Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Malaysia. And you can see Kenya and Uganda are visible. Kenya uh, and Malaysia uh, equally take the same share in the pie. Uh, Tanzania has the, has the largest share in the pie, and Uganda uh, visibly has the smallest share in the pie so this is just example and these values are not uh, correct and they cannot be referenced in anywhere so uh, for for this example and i'm uh, teaching you can do this in javafx and fxml so first let us create a new project select javafx then javafx fxml application select next and then finish ah sorry uh it's okay we'll just use that name uh, we, but you can name the project or whatever name, it will not affect anything. So, so uh, now we have, uh, we can expand this, this, this place. And uh, now we have the FXML file, uh, the main Java class file. And let us rename this, uh, this, uh, this everything here. And we can decide to call this main class file. And I'll call it uh, uh, PyChat. So, Pie charts, uh, that's the name. Uh, just copy. It. So pie charts, and when you rename your Java any Java class file, you always remember to refer to it. And then, uh, then in this FXML file, I'll also rename it, and I'll call it uh, something like pie charts FXML. And then I'll also rename this controller class file, and I'll call it. Uh, but just know that this name uh, renaming is not really compulsory so long as you can uh, read it but it's always good practice to name it after after uh, your project so and then uh, if you rename your controller class file uh, always rename, uh, remember to edit the fxml file because it can no longer uh, locate uh, the, the name of the uh, the, lo the location of the new controller class file so this one uh, it's called PyChat uh, controller uh, this one is the source pack, the package in which it is. So it is a Java FX application 9 and then the name of the controller and that's it. So after doing that, uh, just save it and then also come to the main uh, Java class file. It is the main Java class file because it, it has the main method here and it runs this application. And then after, after doing that, now let us ne uh, type in the name of our new uh, FXML file uh, that is PyChat dot fxml so uh, that's it after doing that now i think you're good to go now you can open this uh, in the scene builder pytest dot fxml open it in the scene builder we want to design our interface so that we can go back to the controller class file and do some of the code so i'll create file and then i'll create sorry uh, I just cancel everything. So select the button and the label. Sorry for that. Uh, uh, delete it. And then now come and uh, resize the uncapping. So type in the V box. Then fit it to the parent. So after doing that now, uh, it's high time we will place some text inside. But before we place even this text that we are supposed to drag into this, uh, let us select this V box first and uh, come and align everything that will end up to be at the top center. So that everything should be in the center but uh, from the top. Uh, now we'll drop this text inside this V box. And then we'll change the value of the text. And then let us say, uh, I'll say, uh, uh, let me just say milk production. So that's it. And I will also interfere with the font. Uh, uh, let me, I want to increase the font and change the font family. So I don't want to be from the system. So arial black. 
Now increase the font uh, to something like 45 or 41. And that's it. So I'll also need a pen. So I'll just come here and type in pen. 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 So this is the pen I need. And then I'll just come and uh, drop it inside the V-box. Below the, so it should be below the text. So once you do that, just select this pen, come to the layout, and you want this pen to grow uh, with the V-Box. Uh, so this is a V-Grow, uh, the V-Grow should be always, so that whenever the V-Box grows, it grows, uh, it's responsive to the V-Box uh, growth. So now, now that we've done that, now let us give this pen an ID. So the, the idea behind this pen is that I want to create this, that uh, the chart in the controller class file and add it as a child to the pen. Although I'll not be adding the chart directly from from the scene builder because I know there's a shorter way uh, and you can search just here, uh, you can search just here the pie chart and just add directly. But uh, I've always found it better practice to use pen uh, uh, technology because if you want to change from a pen to a bar chart, to a, from a pie chart to a, uh, to a bar chart or to a line chart or any form of chart in the same location, uh, if you are creating a very Huge application. This is the best way because first of all, it uh, it uh, doesn't allow a duplicate series uh, of the same name to be added in uh, the same chart, so it will uh, it uh, avoids duplicate series being added. And again, it allows for different types of charts to be displayed in the same lo locality. So that's it. Now this is the pen. We'll give this pen an ID and I'll call it Pen View. So that's it, and I call pen view, then resize this one. Now come and resize, uh, and, and uh, I click the FXML file and make the controller. So it will make the changes to the PyCharts controller, Java cluster, and then that's it. Uh, now delete this level, and this method we don't need it anymore because uh, that's it. And then we'll create a new method. So this method will be supplying data. Uh, we'll first of all create uh, the PyChart and then supplying data to it. So void load data that's the name of our method so load data sorry then uh, uh, that's it and then after doing that now uh, up for pie chart it's somewhat different than other uh, java fx charts that are uh, i've done the process about uh, like the bar chart and the line chart which uses series unlike that unlike them uh, pie charts uses observable list so i'll create a new observable list uh, observable list in this method observable list and i'll declare the type of data this observable list will be carrying so it will be carry uh, pie chart uh, data and then now i'll call this list uh, just list and then uh, fx Collections uh, observable values. So this observable list is where we'll be uh, uh, keeping our data uh, inside it, and then it will be displayed uh, in the pie chart. So. First of all, we will do some imports and we will import the FX collections library and we will also import the observable list. So once you do that and also we have to import the pie chart uh, library and then now we are good to go. So uh, the next thing now will be adding data into this observable list. So I will add uh, 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 the four data types of the data that we have added. So first of all, I'll add the first batch of data. So new. Uh, now we'll be adding some pie chart uh, data. So inside this pie chart data, let us add first the first one, which is uh, Uganda. Uh, Uganda. Then I'll say I'll that thousand. So 
so that's it and then uh, we'll just copy paste this so this is the first type of data i've added then we'll just paste this uh, four times so now just press enter so this is the type of the we'll be adding for four countries that is uh, the next country kenya and then for kenya the value will be 60,000 and then for malaysia Malaysia, and then this one will also Malaysia will be sixty thousand, and then for Tanzania the daily meat production uh, is nine thousand. So uh, just for the purpose of record, uh, these values aren't accurate. So it's just for the purpose of uh, uh, demonstration. And then now, now that we have done the, that, we we love to add it. Uh, now to the pie chart so we will create the pie chart and then we'll say we'll create a pie chart and we'll name this pie chart milk chart and then it equals to new pie chart and in this brackets in this bracket now we'll add the observable list list and then that's it uh, when you do that now you are good to go you can give this chart uh you can this give this chart uh, some title so set title and uh, let us say the daily milk production so because this is basically what you're trying to display daily, daily production and then now that you have done that uh you can now add it into the pen. So pen view, you get the children. So I'll just get the children, then add uh, the milk chart as a child to the pen view. So that's it. And then you, you can see uh, now we have added the, the chart into the pen view, but uh, just take an example where there was something inside that pen so you will always have to check uh, before this uh, we add anything so first of all i'll be getting the children and be clearing anything that was inside the pen before adding any type of uh, new data into the pen of any type of children so i'll clear so that's it so this method clears everything that was inside the pen now we'll be creating an observable list uh, array list uh, that will be holding this type of data type, a pie chart data. Now we'll be adding these sets of uh, pie chart data into the observable list. So we have added uh, four types, four types of data. So it's an array. Uh, the, list, the observable list is just a form of an array. So we've added uh, uh, four values inside it, and then now we have created a new pie chart and uh, called the milk chart, and we have added the observable list into the milk chart. And now we have given this milk chart some title, and then uh, now we have added this milk chart. Uh, into the pen view. Now let us call this method at uh, this uh, where it all begins. So here we call this method uh, in the, in the public body initialize so that it, uh, when this this it can be initialized at the first uh, at the first point where the application runs. So when we run this application, uh, anything that is being called at public void initialize basically will be uh, called uh, instantly. So first of all, we'll select a class. And that is the class will be running. And then let us select a class so that can build. Uh, remember the main class. Uh, we rename the main class, and that is the reason we have to select before we build it. So you build your application when it is successfully built. Now come back to the main class right here, and then run the file. So here we go, and uh, we have a beautiful pie chart here, and you can see Kenya and Malaysia almost has the same value, uh, actually has the same uh, share in the in the pie chart. Tanzania has the greatest share in the pie chart, and then Tanzania, Uganda has the lowest share in the pie chart, and you can see uh, this how, how these uh, colors are being displayed very beautifully. So you can see how you can create now pie charts in JavaFX and FXML. So that was it about uh, this JavaFX and FXML application. Uh, now to create 
PyTorch in this type of application. So thank you for watching this video. You can remember to subscribe and uh, always watch these videos about Java and JavaFX and, well, and more programming languages that I have uh, done tutorials about them. So just keep tuned in and I will update you on the latest forms and the latest types of uh, Java, Java graphical interface applications allowed you can apply them in your software so that was it uh, thank you for watching this video